All right, my friends, welcome to the video. I have about an hour and a half to kill. Just got off work. It's spring in South Texas, and although it's about 50 degrees right now, the water temperature is warmer. Probably looking at 62, 63 degrees. So in other words, big fish should be moving up shallow. You guys have seen me fish this pond. Um, look at that crankbait has just been destroyed so many times. But we're gonna we're gonna lift this crankbait. We're gonna jig. We're gonna see what we can catch in this hour and a half. Hopefully, some huge fish will be moving up after we've had these warm fronts. And even though we're in a cold front right now, the water should be warm enough. These fish should still bite. This this video hopefully will help you guys see random fountain neighborhood pond hold some big fish. Thank y'all for watching. Oh my gosh, you guys saw it's huge. It's huge. Holy buckets, did you guys see that fish? Look at this thing. Look at how cool this bass is. Oh, he's barely on. He's not huge, but look at how crazy looking this fish is. Oh my gosh. Look at how crazy this fish is. That is one of the gnarliest bass I've seen in my life. Look how short he is and how mad he looks. This is the craziest bass I've caught. It just looks, it looks so strange. It was like, it's got like a black face. Guys, it's not as big as I thought, but it's still a crazy looking fish. Since it's got out of the water, it's brightened up considerably. But that fish was sitting in maybe a foot of water right there and when they sit that shallow oftentimes the sunlight even though there's not much sunlight any light will make them turn a lot darker look how look how much that fish has brightened up when, when we first took that thing it was pitch black you guys you guys could see how dark it was in the water but the big female bass came up shallow to think about spawning obviously not spawning yet but certainly hunting for food to beef up for the spawn that bass has changed color so much since we caught it. That's crazy. Go on. Worm. Dark worm. Go, oh, put it on. I got a jig tied on if you want to throw it. It's sitting out in the middle, dude. Oh my goodness. Gee, man. Oh, it scared me to death. Ah. See how that, dude, that fish is pure white. Yeah. Look at his, his eyes, guys. Look at how golden they are. Pretty sure that's a male bass, and that fish was probably sitting in deep water, followed it all the way up and hit it right there, because the only way he'd be that white is if he was in some deep water. There he is. Oh, what is that? What is that? Whoa. Holy cats. That's a huge spotted gar. I'm just loosening him. I'm way loose on him. That is a huge spotted gar. What the heck, dude? 
Look at that. That is gnarly. That is so gnarly. Oh no. How's he hooked? Is he hooked? He's got my line in his mouth. He's got my line in his mouth. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch him. I don't think that he's actually got a hook in him. I'm not sure what he's got. No, he does. He does. He got a hook in him. What am I going to do here? It's colder water, so the gar's probably not got that much energy. But that's a huge spotted gar, guys. Huge. Y'all don't see me use pliers too often, but this is one circumstance where we definitely will. There we go. All right, guys, this is a spotted gar, and oh, they're so hard to hold on to. Oh. All right, guys, this is a spotted gar, and this is honestly not far off from the world record. These things rarely get over even three or four pounds and this one's probably more like seven or eight which is just huge for the species an absolute beast of a spotted guard destroy the lipless crankbait this fish has had something stuck around it right there you can see that line it seems like it got rid of it but maybe some other fishing line or something but that's terrible but at least it got rid of it but yeah that is a that is a humongous Spotted gar. I am so stoked about that. Easily the biggest one I have ever seen. Oh, yes. Oh, come on, man. Chased it. Go. Oh. <laughs> Not insane. You're Irish, dude. You ain't freaking Dude, you notice every strike here comes right there. Every strike. Every hit I've had. You've seen it. I've got videos here where that happens three or four times in a day. I got that. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> All right, guys, for like an hour, hour 15 out here after work, that was awesome. Uh, the bass were not up like I thought they would be. The cold front obviously pushed some fish deeper, but we still caught the two buck bass right at the bank, and then the bigger female bass, which was just a cool looking fish, also right at the bank. Lipless crankbait, look at that thing, just ripped to shreds. Cast King Speed Demon Pro Chatterbait Raw. And also the Cast King Bassinator, absolutely perfect cranking setup. Obviously the highlight was the Spotted Guard. Those things do not get over four or five pounds very often and that one was a beast. I don't know a lot about them. If you guys do, comment below about what you know about them and if that one was really as big of a deal as I made it out to be. Thank you guys for watching. Tons of big bass, big crappie, golden dorado, giant catfish coming up. Thanks for watching.